First of all, uh, the idea that people incorrectly think there's a charge if you go for a test. That's a big worry here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So the the aim of this survey was to try to identify anything that might be putting people off from engaging with the the test and trace system as quickly as um, would be ideal. Um, firstly, I'd say that the, the good news is that everyone recognises that it's, this system is vital for maintaining control of the spread of the virus, but we did find a couple of issues. So as you say, the first related to arranging a test. So most people know that they can ring their own GP, but less than a third of people were aware that you can ring any GP or an out-of-hours service. So that was one issue that we identified. And this might be particularly important if you're not registered with a GP or if you experience symptoms over the weekend, for example. And then, as you say, um, so we found that just under half of people weren't aware that if you ring your GP thinking you might have COVID, that consultation is free. Um, And then if you do need a test, the test is also free. So about one third of people weren't aware that the test is free. So naturally, finances shouldn't be a barrier to getting tested and they've been made free for this reason. So it's important for people to know that they can ring their GP if they're experiencing symptoms. It's free to do so and then it's free if you need yeah. a test. And it, it didn't help that some out-of-hour services were charging, but that's now been clarified, I understand.